In February 2025, Block's open source program office dropped Codename Goose, an AI framework that promises to automate tasks, integrate AI into your workflow, and basically save you from the depths of developer despair. It's open source, so it's free, which we all know is the best price for a product, even though we still expect it to come with zero issues. Codename Goose sounds like a cool idea in theory, but let's be real, it's probably not going to solve all your problems or instantly turn you into a tech wizard like Tony Stark. Let's dive in and figure out if Codename Goose is the next big thing, or just another AI framework that will end up on your GitHub. Codename Goose is marketed as an AI framework that allows developers to automate tasks and integrate AI agents into their systems. In layman's terms, it's like having a robot do all the boring stuff you hate doing, like data entry or answering repetitive customer support questions. But is it as seamless as it sounds? Or are you about to be that person in the office who talks about something really cool, but doesn't actually get it to work? Here's the first red flag. Codename Goose is modular, which means you can customize it to your needs. Great, right? Except modular design is basically the Lego set of programming. It sounds awesome until you spend hours putting it together, only to realize you're missing a key piece. And that piece is the one thing you need to make your AI assistant not look like it's trying to solve world hunger using Google search. So while modularity is theoretically cool, it can quickly lead to, I swear I put that piece somewhere moments. Automation sounds like the holy grail of AI, right? Codename Goose promises to handle everything from basic data management to complex API calls, because who doesn't want a bot to handle all their boring chores? But here's the catch. Just because it can integrate with all your existing systems doesn't mean it'll actually do it without an existential crisis halfway through. It's like trying to use an Amazon Echo to control your entire smart home. So yeah, Codename Goose can automate stuff, but don't be surprised if you're suddenly knee deep in error logs. Codename Goose offers you the chance to create customizable AI assistants that can handle your most tedious tasks. Want one that answers customer emails with perfect grammar and unshakable politeness? Sure. Want it to send you status updates like a personal assistant who doesn't need lunch breaks? You got it. But here's the catch. Much like trying to teach your pet dog to fetch your slippers, teaching your AI to do exactly what you want is going to require patience and a lot of trial and error. You might end up with an assistant who answers everything in sarcasm or worse, start sending unsolicited motivational quotes. Let's talk about open source. On the one hand, free stuff is great. Everyone loves free stuff, right? But on the other hand, open source means that if something breaks, it's probably your responsibility to fix it. In an existential crisis, wondering how it all went so wrong. Also, just because it's open source doesn't mean it's user friendly. So yeah, the community is out there, but don't expect your open source heroes to swoop in at the speed of light. It works on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. That's great, right? Except like trying to run old school Windows 8, don't be surprised if you encounter bugs that make you question whether this AI framework actually lives in the same dimension as you. Cross-platform compatibility is awesome, until it's not, and you're stuck figuring out why your fancy new code doesn't work as expected. Codename Goose is structured in layers, like an onion or a cake, depending on your mood. Each layer does a different job, and like any structure built on layers, it's only as good as its foundation. Here's how it all comes together. This is the heart of Codename Goose, the layer where all the decisions are made. If you've set it up correctly, this is where your AI makes intelligent decisions, like an overachieving intern trying to prove they're more than just a coffee fetcher. Well, it's more like the intern forgot their coffee order and now has no idea what they're doing, Here's where the AI connects with other systems. Sounds simple, right? Sure, if all your systems are new and shiny, but if you're dealing with some older tech, be prepared to pull your hair out. It's like trying to get your grandma to use TikTok. Challenging, and you'll probably end up explaining the same thing a dozen times. Want to interact with your AI assistant like you're starring in her? Codename Goose gives you the ability to set up interfaces like chatbots and dashboards. Sounds nice until you realize your chatbot is answering questions in riddles and your dashboard looks like it was designed by someone who just discovered modern web design. Codename Goose lets you add extensions, because who doesn't want more features, right? But here's the thing, adding extensions is not always as easy as installing a browser plugin. You might end up doing more work than you bargained for, and suddenly you're like, why did I sign up for this? It's basically like buying the coolest set of Legos ever, and then realizing you need to buy even more pieces to finish the build. It's free, so that's a win. You don't have to sell your kidney on the dark web to afford it, but don't let the price fool you. Free doesn't always mean effortless. If you love tweaking things until they're just right, Codename Goose is your playground, but don't expect instant results. Be ready for some heavy lifting to get it working how you want. When it works, it's great. Codename Goose can actually make intelligent decisions, but when it doesn't work, well, you'll be spending hours wondering why your AI can't even decide what coffee to order. Codename Goose is one of those tools that promises a lot, but if you don't have the patience or the time to invest in learning the ins and outs, it might leave you frustrated. It's modular, customizable, and offers powerful automation capabilities. Codename Goose could be the next big thing or it could just be another tool you'll forget about by next month. But hey, that's the AI world for you. Roll the dice, see if it works, and if it doesn't, just pretend you were working on your personal project the whole time.